Hey, let's talk about using the software Copilot on your Qualcomm GPS for route planning and for navigation. Coming up. Okay, I'm delivering to Premier Packaging at 4013 Premier Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm not delivering till 6.20 at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to go into the menu. I'm going to choose Main Menu. Then I'm going to choose Address. Okay, we're going to enter an address. This is pretty self-explanatory. Now, I do use a keyboard that has a trackpad built into it. Picked it up from Walmart. I think it's like $20. I'll show a picture of it near the end. After entering the city, which was Memphis, I have to choose Premier Drive. I could have just chosen it there because I've typed it before, so it already had it, but I'll click on it. Now I'm going to put in the address. Notice it did not find the address I'm looking for on that Premier Avenue. So I clicked and went back. I chose the other Premier Avenue, typed in the address I'm looking for, and there it is. So I can click on it. It's quickly going to pull it up, calculate the best route, throw it up so you can see it. As you see, it's going to take 10 hours, 25 minutes to get there, 614 miles. And if I left right now, I'd get there at 10.53 p.m. Now it's time to go in to plan and edit our trip so that we can add our fuel stop. So I'm going to click Add Stop. This is also very easy to do. I'm going to choose Point of Interest. I'll choose Truck Services. I will go over to search nearby and change that to the city that I want to find it in. I'll say in a different city. My fuel stop is Love's number 488 in Bloomsdale, Missouri. So I'll type in the city, Bloomsdale, Missouri. Click on it when it comes up. I can then type in it's Love's. There it is, Love's 488. Pop it in there. Click set as next stop. Then I choose calculate route and let it do its magic. A little secret is if you click somewhere that there isn't anything on the map, it will get rid of that box that has appeared in the way and you can't see anything. Now at 11.02 p.m. estimated arrival time, I'm not gonna find parking. So I need to add a stop. I'm gonna add Olive Branch because I happen to know Olive Branch is very close. Using the arrow keys on my favorites list, I can scroll down and scroll right down the whole list of favorites. And as you see at the beginning of them, I have the code for each one that we would use in the Qualcomm to get more directions. Okay, scrolling up, looking for Olive Branch. There it is right there, H-Y-O-B, Heartland Terminal, Olive Branch. Now I click on it and tell it to move it up one. It will move it right where I want it. All right, I say calculate route, and it's now going to calculate route with the stops in order. Okay, now it's going to take 11 hour and 1 minute. It's 642 miles. I'm good with that, so I'm going to go ahead and click go. Karen does the voodoo that she do, and it pops up with a route and directions. Now, when I begin this trip, I have lots of choices what I want displayed. I can have directions, which gives me a turn-by-turn -turn direction or I can go down and choose to have the 2D map. There are some adjustments you can do to 2D map in the settings. Now the 3D map is what we are all used to seeing on a Garmin or a Rand McNally, so we can pop that up. And as you can see, it has me turning out of this truck stop, turning right, and going over to the freeway where I'll turn left and begin my route. Another use that I use Copilot for is planning a future trip. I already know what my trip is leaving out of Memphis. I'm gonna be going from Memphis to La Crosse. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plan that trip. Now, there's a little screwiness in this trip because I've got some time in there. I'm probably gonna get a 34 hour reset in before my delivery because my delivery's not until Monday. Okay, first I'll go ahead and pick navigation very simply. Then I'll click to bring up the menu, click on the main menu. And in this case, I already have the places saved in my places. 
it's a good idea to save places that we go to frequently in my favorites. I chose Midwest Warehouse and it started calculating. Now, since I'm planning a future trip, I'm going to go ahead and take out my current location. I'm going to click on it and then delete it. Now it has made the Midwest Warehouse my starting place. So I will go ahead and click on the next place that I want to add by clicking Add Stop in the top right corner. Go back to My Places and choose the City Brewery in La Crosse. I'm going to go ahead and click Calculate so it can do the voodoo that it does and give me the idea how long it will take to get there. Karen did her voodoo and she came up with 12 hours, 59 minutes, 795 miles. Now I want to go ahead and add where I plan to stay to do a reset if I can squeeze a 34 hour reset into this, which I should be able to do. My favorite places is terminals and yards. So I'm going to go to edit trip. All right, where do I want to do that reset if I'm going to do a reset on this trip? So I'm going to click add stop, go to my places. And I'm going to select from our yards that I believe will be close to this one. Let's go to, uh, let's check Black River Falls first. See how close Black River Falls will and how much it will add to my journey going there. I select it from the list of favorites. I click on it, move it up one spot, and tell it to calculate the route. Going to Black River Falls to do a reset on the way there will change my time to 1347, 834 miles. Looking at the map, I say, is there a better option? Maybe I could go to Streeter instead. So I go back, I remove Black River Falls by clicking on it, clicking the X, and remembering to say delete stop it really wants to know if you really want to delete it all right now i'm going to go back up to add stop okay i'm going to try a different option we're going to go to streeter click on my places i'll scroll down look for it find it add it to the list okay i'll find streeter on the list of all my favorites there it is click on millish yard streeter i have to move it up put it between the shipper and the receiver i'll say calculate route and karen does her math and she comes up with 13 hours and 38 minutes only 821 miles so that looks like that might be the plan that i go with if i click on this button that says alternate it's going to give me three routes there you go look i have three routes current route alternate route and alternate two and if I look at it, it looks like alternate two is a little shorter. It says it's a little longer, but is it really 10 minutes or so? So I'm going to click on that one and set that as my primary route. And we have now just planned a route that we will be using for tomorrow. And I can save this route. There is an option to save. And if I save the route, I'll be able to pull it up very quick and easily tomorrow. This Logitech keyboard is available from Walmart. It is inexpensive. I selected this one for several reasons. One, it has a trackpad. It's very compact. And it uses a little dongle which plugs into the side of your Qualcomm. One of the best things is this particular keyboard stores in the space above the CB radio in the center fits perfectly in there, doesn't rattle or move around. It is a great place to store it. Hey subscribers, I know that this video runs a little long for what I usually do. I'm sorry, I'll try to make the next one a little shorter if I can. There's a lot of good information in here and I felt that this one really needed to be covered. Remember to like, subscribe, send it to your other people that you know that this could help out, especially other Millis drivers.